All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. My name is Jillian Fisher. I use the pronouns she, her, hers, and I'm an academic advisor at North Seattle College. And I work, one of my areas of studies that I work with on students is art design and graphic, which is what we're going to talk about today. And I'll let my co-presenter, Kelda, introduce herself. Hi everyone, thanks for being here. My name is Kelda Martinson. I use she, her, hers pronouns and I am art faculty at North Seattle College. And I am here to just share information about general studio arts and art history focused um, AA degree at all three colleges. And then also a little bit about the associate in fine arts degree certificate in jewelry design and the certificate in fine arts here at North. And please feel free to um, either unmute yourself and ask a question or just pop a question in the chat if you have any. We want to make sure that we're answering questions you all have. So again, thanks for joining us for um, this session. And, and I know we talked about this a little bit um, in the opening session, but again, just talking about a transfer degree. Basically, a transfer degree is for students that want to start at the community college and then transfer to a four year university or college to continue on with their education. We have a lot of transfer degrees at North. We are and sorry, just not at North at South and Central across the Seattle College's district. But today we're going to focus on two specific transfer degrees for students that are interested in fine art, studio art or art history. So we're really going to focus that presentation today on those um, specific programs. Um, as was also mentioned in the opening session, all three of the campuses in the Seattle College's district also offer what we call career training or professional technical programs. And those are for students that are less planning to transfer to a university and more want to get certifications or degrees to get right into a specific career or industry or job. So we're not really going to talk about those so much today, but you're welcome to attend other sessions um, that will cover those more in depth. So one of the transfer degrees, I said we were going to talk about two today that are really related to fine art and art history. One is our Associate of Arts degree, which is the, um, often called the AADTA. And again, as was mentioned in the opening session, DTA stands for Direct Transfer Agreement. That does not guarantee you admission to any university. Um, you still have to apply and get in, but we do have agreements with most of the universities, at least in Washington State. And the Associate of Arts degree is the most general and flexible degree that any of the campuses offer. And that is because it includes 30 credits of elective. So it gives you the opportunity to really fit in and decide what types of classes you want to take. So it's a lot of flexibility. It is a 90 credit degree. So if someone's going full time, um, it would take them approximately two years, sometimes faster if you do summer quarters. Um, there's a variety of types of classes, so you're going to need to do some English and some math, what we kind of call our basic requirements. Um, you'll be asked to do a certain number of credits of arts and humanities classes, social science classes, and natural world or science classes, and then those electives. So again, a very flexible degree. This is a great option for students that are wanting to transfer to a university, either for art history or a fine art major, and want to get some of their general education courses done at the community college and not worry about them so much when they get to the university. However, within this, if you plan it well, you can fit in 40 credits of art classes, art, studio art or art history. And so you can make it so that almost half of your degree is entirely made up of art classes. So again, it's a really nice fit for students that want to get some art classes, but also want to get some of their general education classes taken care of um, while they're at the community college. And this degree, as I mentioned, is offered at all three of the campuses in the district, so North, South, and Central. The second transfer degree that we want to talk about is our Associate of Fine Arts, and I will let Kelda discuss that one. So the Associate in Fine Arts is also a 90 credit transfer degree, but it focuses mostly, the majority of the degree is spent in the studio arts. There is also five different art history courses you may take, two are required. And uh, this is a chance for students to really build a portfolio in the visual arts. And so when I'm saying visual arts, I am talking about 2D and 3D design, uh, digital photography, digital art, 
and sculpture, ceramics, and each of these that I'm going to list have beginning, intermediate, and advanced levels within it. Um, painting, drawing, printmaking, book arts, mural art, um, jewelry, and I'm sure I'm, <laughs> I think I'm getting them all, but you got all, them all. I think you got them all. <laughs> okay. So the degree components of the AFA, there is, there are a few general education uh, classes required. So like an English composition and some sort of quantitative reasoning one, like a math, a business or accounting, and then also one in the individuals, cultures and societies and one in the natural world. And so what that does is it makes the degree easier to transfer so that when you go, if you are transferring to a four year degree, that you're also equipped with some of those general foundational level courses so that your likelihood of being able to enter as a junior is greater, right? Or enter two years in. And then of course the portfolio is a very large component of the AFA degree. When students leave the AFA degree, they've um, also left with having the guidance of building a portfolio, developing a resume, artist statement, art bio, and documenting all their work in a way that best sets them up for either transfer or just opportunities in the art field. I also want to um, be sure to mention that we offer at North the Certificate in Fine Art, which is a 45 credit uh, certificate, exactly half of the AFA, and then also a certificate in jewelry design, which is a reason a lot of people come to study art at Seattle colleges is for the jewelry program at North. And these certificates are designed to fit within the larger AFA. They can also be combined with the AA. So if you're looking for both a real general flexible transfer degree, but you also want the um, intensive study and access to the studio art facilities, many students choose to do both. And if you just work with an advisor earlier enough, that's really possible um, to do without much extra time. Absolutely. Um, and I will mention, um, we also sometimes have students that do the full associate of arts, the AA, DTA, and the AFA, because it's only a couple extra quarters to get both degrees. And so sometimes students do that as well. Again, you want to do some planning with an advisor to make sure you can fit it in as efficiently as possible. So this is just an image of the general associate of arts degree. Again, this is at all of the Seattle colleges. And this is where you can see, you know, you will have some specific classes you need to take like English 101 and English 102. But, and as I was mentioning, you know, some arts and humanities, some social science, some science, but then lots of electives. So again, the opportunity to really build this to best fit your goals and your plans. And here's an image of the AFA degree, and I'll let, again, let Kelda review that. So you can see that the uh, left side are all the studio art courses, which you can choose from. These are in addition to the required art courses. So as I said, it's a very heavy studio arts, and we also offer uh, five different art history courses. So you can choose between us mostly 2D focus or 3D focus. Many students do both, and we encourage you to at least try one of the one of each. So let's say that you're mostly um, doing video art and photography and printmaking, and you're into the two-dimensional design. Well, we would encourage at least one class or jewelry or ceramics course so that you're able to um, really build out your portfolio in the two and three-dimensional realm. And then um, our required art courses really set you up to transfer and to give you the foundation in the visual arts thinking. And then we have general uh, education. So again, English composition, as I mentioned, a, a quantitative course, and then the areas of knowledge, which um, helps round you out to be a uh, more informed learner and student and as you transfer. So courses in the natural world and then individuals, cultures, and society. Um, and then of course the portfolio, which is a, um, a really excellent part of the program and where students really find that they uh, have the most growth and, and uh, leave with something that, you know, is just phenomenal. So that's the AFA in a wrap. <laughs> The Certificate of Jewelry Design is a program at North. It's um, known, it's renowned not only in the region, but in the nation. Uh, we just had a jewelry company, a smaller independently women-owned jewelry company in North Carolina reach out to us. They're hiring, they wanna help a one of our graduate 
there. So in order to work for them, um, we have jewelers, uh, jewelry companies, metal companies seek out our students and students seek out this program. It's one of the only programs in um, the wider area. We have students commute to this program um, from neighboring states even. So it's uh, facilities are top and it's really a um, robust education in metal arts. And it's not just wearable jewelry, it is metal arts and small scale sculpture. Thanks, Kelda. So additionally, we wanted to point out that all three of the campuses um, across the Seattle Colleges District have art galleries on campus. So we wanted to show some images and Kelda can share a little bit about the various um, art galleries that we offer. Yes, our art galleries at the Seattle Colleges are such gems. Um, I think our city and our state are very lucky to have them. So I hope that you will all take advantage of them. They're wonderful, both when we're open and in person, but also their remote programming um, during the, when the campuses have been shut down has just been phenomenal. So this one is uh, from North Seattle College. You can see the website there at the bottom. Um, on the left, we have a still from our visiting artist lecture series. This one um, was Ling Chung, who is our ceramics faculty at North. She was doing a lecture series, a uh, world renowned artist. And then also a gallery installation from when we hosted the um, Zine Archive Publishing Project, which now lives at the Seattle Public Library, but was exhibited at North. This is from Seattle Central's amazing M. Rosetta Hunter Art Gallery. It's such a gem. I love this gallery. Um, the website is there where you can um, read more about their exhibitions. And this is just a sampling of the great work that they've shown. The Oaxaca and Seattle Print Exchange, a traveling exhibition, very powerful work. Um, Changing Times, 20th century fashion. So a lot of times, um, all of these galleries will use their programming as a teaching tool, a way of really collaborating with the students, uh, the areas of study at the campus. So because Seattle Central has the apparel design, uh, this exhibition was launched so that students can really see the, the, the depth of ways in which their medium uh, plays out in the art world. And then this uh, beautiful drawing by Myron Curry. South Seattle's Art Gallery is um, has wonderful shows. Please do pay attention and tune into it. SouthSeattle.edu Student Life Art Gallery. This is a poster from one of the exhibitions, Women of Color, Our Experience. Um, another example of just what they're bringing to us. Um, I think as students and as faculty and staff, it's such a treat to be, have the outside world be brought in. Um, to our work days, to our school days. And it's really a um, one of my favorite parts about being part of this community is being able to just stop through a gallery no matter what part of town I'm in. And especially when I'm just working here in a work day, I can swing through and, and get this breath of fresh air. And I'll just add that um, all of these galleries are open to the community as well. You don't have to be a student or a faculty or a staff person to go to them. So anyone can go to these um, galleries. And also um, there are times where students have the opportunity to show their work um, in the art gallery. So again, that's a great experience as being a student at one of the Seattle colleges is potentially having the opportunity to show your work in the gallery as well. Yes, thank you, Jillian. That's um, something we we all look forward to is the student shows in the gallery and then you also as a student have an opportunity to do work study in the gallery um, and learn the backside of gallery hanging so curation um, art handling hanging um, you know the building part of it the curating the mapping it out and the um, hanging of the art so we have some really amazing student artists um, across the district so we just wanted to share um, some examples of some of the work and things that you um, could be doing or you might see other students doing if you decide to come to one of the Seattle colleges and take art classes. Yeah, so we'll move quickly through these, but um, this is just an image from one of our sculpture courses taught by Paula Rebsom at North. These, uh, the student work here is pulled from the League for Innovation, which is a nationwide um, competition for all community colleges across the country. Seattle Colleges always enters as one uh, 
representing South, Central, and North students. So you can see these students come from all three colleges. And as you can see, the work is phenomenal, it ranges from drawing to digital art, painting, ceramics. I have more on the next slide, I believe, too. Um, jewelry, printmaking, digital art, more painting. And then we also have a mural art course at North. Please do um, follow us to see what our students are up to and you can get more up-to-date um, goings on. So we have our Facebook tags there, Instagram and YouTube. So um, we really wanna make sure that students are getting the most out of their degree and really planning well so that their time and money and energy can be spent efficiently. We know it takes a lot to go to college and most of our students also have lives and working and families and things like that. So it is just really important to think about how you can um, do as much advanced planning as possible. I'm not gonna go through each of these steps, but again, you know, when you're starting off, what area of study are you interested in? And if you know that and you know, okay, I'm interested in arts, design and graphics, great. Do you have a specific certificate or degree? What is your next goal? So that we can really help you um, match what you're working on that's going to best meet what you are hoping to do in your next steps. Um, meeting with advisors is really important. So again, you can make sure you're taking the classes you need, that you can make sure that you kind of know what your timeline is. If you're thinking about transferring to a university or an art school, you know what you need to do as part of that application and admissions process. Do you need a, you know, a lot of art schools, you might, will be required to have a portfolio as part of your application process, all of those things. Um, because again, we just want you to make the most out of your time and to be set up for whatever it is that you are choosing to do next. And I know it can get complicated, but there's lots of folks that can help you. We have advisors, we have faculty, we have um, career counselors at all of the campuses. There's a lot of people that can help through all of these processes and steps. And um, where can you transfer? Well, you can transfer anywhere that you can get into. So again, um, there's, no, there's never a guarantee that you'll get into that next school, but you um, definitely are gonna get a really solid foundation at any of the campuses. You're gonna be really well prepared. And if you put the time and energy into your applications um, and are seeking out some of the resources and supports, then your chances of getting into those next steps is much easier and much better. And we do have students that go to a variety of places. And I'll let Kelda talk a little bit about that specifically related to art students, as you can see on this next slide. Yeah, so we've listed just some of the schools, but um, a lot of our students do transfer very successfully into the University of Washington. We have a pipeline established, meaning that a lot of our students here go there to California College of the Arts, Pacific North, which is in Oakland and San Francisco. They have two campuses, uh, the Pacific Northwest College of Art in Portland, School of the Art Institute in Chicago, Rhode Island School of Design, um, Western Washington, San Diego State, uh, Evergreen, and then also community programs that are really intensive in terms of technique. Um, and, and you want to further your career, such as Penland School of Craft and, and uh, Pratt Fine Arts Center. In terms of careers, um, artists are thinkers, they are creative problem solvers, they are makers, they are excellent communicators they um, end up in just about every single industry. So you might really find your voice in the arts and then be surprised in how it ends up um, serving you in your career. So we, a lot of students will end up as art therapists, um, art handlers, more in um, teaching roles. A lot, a lot of entrepreneurs, artists are usually very good at working for themselves. We're talented at um, juggling many things at once. Um, I think that there's a lot of artists that go into uh, the industry in terms of graphic design and industrial design, commercial photography, illustration, um, jewelry business, entrepreneurships, um, stone setters we have a lot of students that go into that work arts administration is a booming field we have students that turn out to be arts administrators those jobs are found in this in city governments local and state governments also in private so 
For instance, you might be an arts administrator for Facebook or a curator for the Microsoft Art Collection um, or work in the Seattle Art Museum as an education resource professional. So really it goes on and on. And we um, just emphasize that sort of building skill sets that will help you be creative and successful in whatever field you choose. So some next steps is um, if you're already a student at one of the um, campuses across the district, you should have an assigned advisor to you. Um, and if not, you can find out who that would ad advisor would be. Um, and really, I think I just saw a notice, sorry, we need to leave the breakout room in a minute, but in that time, it, does anybody have any questions that we can help answer? And I will also, um, I'll put our oh, emails perfect. in the chat. Thank you. Yeah. And Kelda will also put our emails in the chat. So you're welcome to shoot either one of us an email if you have more questions and that's an easier way for you to ask them. But in the last, in the last half minute, anybody have any questions? Thank you.